okay so this is the number of energies we discussed now basically these energies are again divided into two parts one is renewable renewable and other one is non renewable first i'll tell you about non renewable energy non renewable energy means consumption of energy is more than production means we use huge amount of energy but we but the production of energy is very very less examples are fossil fossil fuels like coal oil petroleum etc all these energies production is less we have less storage in the earth but usage is more the another disadvantage of this energy these energies are they are not eco friendly they create so much of pollution in the environment but they are very widely used in automobiles and industry because of this energy density even though they are harmful to the environment we are fully depend upon this fossil fuels but the government and the scientists are trying to create some other alternative energies which are user friendly which are eco friendly energies and those are renewable energy sources and the surprise thing is that what some energies we no need to create they are already existing in the nature but we have to convert them into our required form of energies and those renewable energies are solar energy wind energy tidal energy ocean water energies geothermal etc all these are eco friendly do not produce any pollution in the environment and here consumption is less production is more quite the opposite to non renewable we here non renewable i told you already production is less consumption is more but here consumption is less production is more so that's why we are trying to create some machines are trying to create some generators with which we can produce our required form of energy from this renewable energy sources so that we can we can reduce the harmfulness up to the environment and we can give better world to the future right so many types of energies we have but one thing you should know that all these energies are changing from one form to the another but we cannot create new energy or we can't destroy the energy if you say that i have consumed so and so joules of electricity so and so joules of energy are wasted means you are wrong actually actually we are not wasting we are changing from one form to the other form physics says that energy neither created nor destroyed but it can change from one form to the other form and this is the basis of nature and this is called principle of conservation of energy principle of conservation of energy it says that energy is neither created nor destroyed it changes one changes from one form to another this is principle of principle of conservation of energy means conservation means constant energy always constant in the nature you can't say that in in some part of the world energy is less some part of the energy is more or throughout the uh, world energy is same but we just using the energies and move to one form to another form so about take an example of uh, hydro power stations where we are producing electricity using water dams so they are using huge amount of water 
and water is falling from greater heights there when the water falling from greater heights there the potential energy is converting converting and the water falling in the turbine the turbine starts rotating that means the potential energy converting into kinetic energy and the turbine starts rotating these turbines have some connections tube connections to magnets and electric fields so that there you are producing electromagnetic energy so from potential energy to kinetic energy kinetic energy to electromagnetic energy and that electromagnetic energy gives current to us so in that way we are using the energy but we are not creating the energy we are not destroying the energy we are changing from one form to the another i'll give another simple example to you take electric bulb how electric bulb works as you know that electric bulb takes electrical energy electric energy and gives light only light no it gives light and sound so electric energy is converting into light and sound this is how energy conversion conservation is possible you can't say that electric bulb using electric energy and it is you wasted the electric energy no the electric energy is converted in the form of light and sound so in this way energy remains constant take another example electric fan so which energy to which energy here again electrical energy to mechanical energy of course some part of wind energy also electric fan now take some more examples electric motor electric motors are basically used in electric machines they will take the electric energy and they will convert electric energy into mechanical energy like in this seen this example of electric fan in the fan you have motor because of motor only the blades are rotating so electric motor always converts electric energy to mechanical energy do you know there is another machine which works entirely opposite to electric motor yes and that is i am writing here that is generator generator converts mechanical energy to electrical energy when there is a power when the power cut at your home what you do you use generators only and these generators converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy ac generators dc generators all follow the same type of conversion mechanical to electric so here we couldn't say that okay mechanical energy is wasted no the mechanical energy converts to electrical energy so ultimately what i want to say that if you say that energy is created you are wrong if you say that energy is converted from one form to the another form you are